Nancy Pelosi shocks nation. She did the unthinkable. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi continues to go after President Donald Trump while his administration is working around the clock to address and combat the coronavirus. But the California Democrat crossed a serious line over the weekend when she actually accused the president of being responsible for Americans dying from COVID-19, the virus that originated in China. During an interview Sunday on CNN's State of the Union, Pelosi declared that Trump's delay and denial in responding to the coronavirus pandemic had deadly consequences for Americans. His denial at the beginning was deadly. His delaying of getting equipment to where it is needed is deadly. And now the best thing would be to do is to prevent more loss of life rather than open things up so that because we just don't know, Pelosi said. When host Jake Tapper asked about the Trump administration considering relaxing federal guidelines for less affected parts of the country, Pelosi said the U.S. should be taking every precaution. I don't know what the purpose of that is, she said, adding that she doesn't know what the scientists are telling Trump. As the president fiddles, people are dying. We just have to take every precaution, she added. Consider how mind-blowing it is that the most powerful Democrat in Congress just claimed that the president is somehow responsible for Americans dying from the virus. It's even more interesting that she blamed Trump for delaying, yet she was directly responsible for delaying the coronavirus stimulus package in Congress last week because she tried slipping in several left-wing poison pills into the measure. Congress passed the $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus compromise package, which will bring relief to individuals, small businesses, and larger corporations. The relief package also includes thousands of dollars in direct payments to most Americans, millions of whom face unemployment related to the spread of the virus, as well as a $500 billion loan fund for large corporations and a $367 billion loan program for small businesses. The bill's passage last Friday capped days of heated negotiations after Pelosi flew into D.C. last weekend and tried slipping in a slew of unnecessary left-wing proposals. Senate Democrats originally voted against the bill three times in an attempt to include several of Pelosi's radical policies they wanted, such as ballot harvesting and amnesty for DACA illegal aliens. The bill passed and was signed into law by Trump, and though it omits many, though not all, items from Pelosi's version of the legislation that Republicans had called wasteful or irrelevant, including climate change-related emissions restrictions for airlines, and various diversity-related provisions.